Hi everybody, welcome to my world. Um, I thought I would share this new consultation with you. Um, can I say your first name? Is that okay? Okay. <laughs> I thought I would share this consult uh, with you. I'm meeting the lovely Deidre for the first time. And literally we're going to be taking a look at her mouth. She's come because she wants me to just get her mouth healthy and give her a nice smile. So let's dive in so that you can see what's going on. So first thing, she's going to pop you in. And I'm just going to pop a little bit more, just some lip balm. Just because his mouth will get dry for a wee while. And if you close and relax me. So I'm just going to check the soft tissue. So it's one of the reasons why it's really important to see your dentist. Everyone's kind of like, I haven't got any pain. Do I need to go? But what I'm doing is just checking for the glands and muscles. Everything around the body drains first around the head and neck. Everyone always calls it my mini massage. So <laughs> look, she's smiling. <laughs> um, and open really wide for me and close, bite together. And so I'm just checking all the muscles of mastication, checking all the glands, everything looks good. So next, open for me. Just having a look, soft tissues, looking around the lips, tongue. If you just stick your tongue out at me and to the right. Lovely. And the other way, stick your tongue out at me and just go, ah, oh, wonderful. So I'm just checking to make sure that there's no ulcers, there's no cancer, anything nasty at all going on, especially the back of the neck, which you can't see, back of the tongue, I should say, and everything looks fine. What happens next now is I'm going to be looking at teeth, actually gums first. And so this little ruler is called a perioprobe. And what I'm doing with it is just pushing it into the gums. I can see that Deidre's gums are inflamed. I don't know if you can see this redness. There's like a red rim around the gum as opposed to pink there. So already I know. And if I rub here, even though I know that she's brushed it really well, but there's all this plaque that's there. So we need to run through brushing technique because what's happening is that the brush is probably stopping about here and it's not getting under the gum enough. So that if I was to get the bristles of the brush under the gum, the gums will start bleeding. Are your gums are bleeding at the moment, actually, when you brush? No. No? Okay. Um, so, as you can see, I've just cleaned a little bit of plaque there and there's just bleeding going on. And I think you can tell everybody I didn't hurt you. <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> All right, so I'm just measuring. So the lower the number, the better. So ideally, we're looking for zeros and ones. Four means that there's gum disease, which hopefully is not the case. Upper right is two, mid three. So you can kind of see from here where the gums are relatively healthy. It's blanching. It's going in. It's not going very far, my little ruler. Whereas when I come here, can you see how it just kind of disappears in under the gum there? So here it's uh, three, so there's more disease around these front teeth. Upper left is three as well. Down at the bottom, lower right is two. Mid three, lower left is two. So I've looked at the gums and only now do I start looking at teeth. So I'm going to be charting the teeth that we have. So lower left seven is seven and eight are missing. Six, we have a silver MO filling. Did you have teeth taken out as a kid? Mm -hmm. Did you have also, did you wear braces or they just yeah. took teeth out? Okay, all right. So let's change that. So seven is present, silver MO. Six is missing. Four is missing, space closed. So we've just got this tooth breaking. So here there's just the root of the tooth. Lower right, four is missing, space closed. So the, both fours are missing on both sides. Um, lower right five, we have a root present. Lower right six is present, seven and eight are missing. Upper right eight is present. Upper right six and seven are missing. Um, and five is missing as well. Upper left four is missing, space closed. Five is a silver DO. The rest are missing backwards. Uh, when we look on the inside, there's lots of calculus. So I tend to like everyone to see the hygienist every 
three months. So quite strict with that. Um, so there's quite a lot of plaque and I think your last hygiene visit was about four months, isn't it? Three, three, four, three, months, four months ago. So a lot of time, get a lot of plaque building up on the inside. Um, the other thing that I'm concerned about is if you see, and again, one wouldn't know, but if I move these teeth around, have you noticed they're getting scaffolding. loose? Yeah, they're scaffolding each other. What did you say? Scaffolding? Yeah. <laughs> they seem to be moving. Yeah. So teeth are moving and there's mobility there, and that's because of gum, gum issues, gum disease. So if I... So what we do is that we grade the mobility. So this tooth here, don't know if you can, can you see oh. that um, if I pop it on either side, so it's moving side to side. So that's grade three mobility, just showing that there's lots of bone that's been lost, which is why it's wiggling. Um, here, it's just moving maybe one way, not as much. So that's grade one mobility. Okay. So the reason... I wanted to share this consultation is because this is kind of like a, um, a classic case. I think we talked about Deidre being uh, menopausal. I'm always raving on because I'm going through the process myself. Um, the fact that God was a man. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the menopause thing, a lot of people don't realize the correlation between menopause, your teeth, gum health. It's that classic time when um, you find kind of from mid-40s, the whole body, everything starts coming, hanging down south. <laughs> teeth equivalent is the collagen unraveling, teeth get crowded, you're dealing with hormones, so you're more prone to gum disease. And I find in a lot of guests that there's so much shame. We as women, we spend all our time, actually, you're nodding, <laughs> looking after everybody else. And then you suddenly wake up one day and you're like, what the hell happened? So... Please, please, please spread the word that from that kind of mid-40s time, you know, you're, yes, we will do the Botox, the fillers, and, and making yourself look better, I'm all for it, but also your dental health is so key. So make sure that you invest time in your dentist, your hygienist. Please don't feel you should be ashamed of any aspect of it there's always something that can be done i'm so happy you came to me now at this point and it's all about moving forward so we're not going to be looking back it's what can we do to make it better and by the time i'm finished with you people are going to think you're a mad woman because you're just grinning all the time and um first steps is we get the disease under the control and get things healthy there's going to be some whitening which is great for gums and will make everything look good so Maybe somewhere down the line, we'll get back and I can show you what I did and how she looks. Sound like a plan? All right. Thanks for joining. See you next time. Bye.